If you see my palette right here, um, I put fresh paint on there this morning, a wet sponge, and paper. So my paint will be good for at least a week or two in this palette. It gets a real nasty and funky after a while. You gotta replace it. Yeah, the mold. Yeah, the mold. Okay. It's great. It's great with peroxide. I do, I do that, but it still gets funky, you know. Hmm. I said, oh, I didn't know about spraying it with peroxide. Yeah, and you know, yeah. you put pennies <laughs> underneath it, the copper counterbalance, whatever it does, oh, all the chemistry, mm -hmm. huh? They still, yeah, they still. <laughs> but you've got to use old pennies, not the new ones. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Um, Jane is. I just want to say, if it's okay, with that she's not. We're not going to zero in on anybody's head or anything. But Jane is filming for. Um, uh, we're going to put this up on YouTube too. So. Can you see over my head? Oh, you're fine. Okay. All right. Here we go. Now I always paint with a two-inch. I mean a one-inch, sometimes two-inch, flat brush angle. Uh, a Princeton 6300 series. Right, Jane? Dakota. She, Dakota series. Yes. Um, so anyway, I'm going to start uh, doing my figures. So here we go. I'm not going to finish this painting right now because I'm, uh, but I'm going to show you how I, how I handle it, how I start it. I'm going to dip into my first color. I always use Hooker's Green and a little bit of Alizarin Crimson, which is going to give me a very serious dark. And I'm going to you know, but my biggest problem is if I made these, I'm going to paint the ladies. If I made them too small, they would just be lost on this canvas. It's not going to have any impact. As you can tell by the room, I like impact. Um, so I like strong values. I like strong darks and lights. And I love strong shapes. I just think that's everything in a painting. So I'm going to start. And this is going to be, that's her head. <laughs> Is there a neck? You know, you just cannot be freaked out. You can't be afraid. You just got to do it. It's acrylic. And here's an arm coming up here like that. Another arm like that. So it's almost like I'm making them like they're cookies. I say cookie cutter, because they're just the shape of them. All just a single mass. So there's not a lot of drawing. You know what I mean? I'm thinking, can you see? I got them. Okay, set. That's her butt. And <laughs> She's dancing. She makes it look so easy. Okay. What color is that? That's Hooker's Green and a little bit of Alizarin Crimson. Okay. Alizarin Crimson or a brown? It's Alizarin Crimson. It comes oh, yes, it is. Because it's I red yeah, and yeah, it green. Is. Yeah. Brown. So. Well, yeah. And I never paint feet. I always just make them in the water or grass or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's clever. Yes. <laughs> I don't. Uh, Oh, I pick up a little bit of yellow, but just ignore that. And she's going to have a basket. Point. There's a little drawing right there. There she is. Here's her sister. <laughs> Here's her sister. You know, I like to exaggerate their movements. Yeah. Because it just makes it more fun. And more movement in the paint. Yeah. And you don't fret about that drill. No. No. It'll get. Yeah. I don't fret about too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> you know, it's really just canvas and paint, and it's like some some of them work out, some of them don't. I got a ton of paintings back there <laughs> that are uh, just really didn't work out. So sometimes I think some of my canvases are cursed. No matter what I do to it, it just it won't it just won't do it. So I don't worry about it. Yeah. That's going to be, so there's the, the little sister right there, and then this lady, 
I kind of, this is hard. I'm like reaching way over here. It's all for you. <laughs> She's got a big head. <laughs> huh. Well. And you don't go from background to foreground. You just no. put in those figures. I paint the background around everything because mm -hmm. I just, it just recreates line. I'm going to cut her head down a little. That was like a hat. It's not. It's a basket. <laughs> a basket. See, you know, she's bad because I have to reach so far. Yeah. I can't. That's why she's bad. But she'll be all right. Yeah, she'll be all right. She'll be all right. Oh, I keep picking up yellow. Oh, I see where you're getting it. Mm -hmm. These are her That's boobs. Right. <laughs> you can tell the yellow was by my green. You know, and I use plenty of paint. Yeah. I used to tell my students, I think I told you guys before, I, uh, when I was teaching, I'd always tell my students, paint like you're rich. Because I'd go around to help them and I'd pick up my brush and they would have little <laughs> tiny dab. Yeah. But, you know, so I was teaching someplace and I go, Paint like you're, you know, paint like you're rich. Just lots of, and the one lady goes, I am rich. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you what town that was, but it was South Florida. So anyway, they're going to be kind of in the water. I can just make them fall off the bottom. I don't care. Now I'm going to do, um, well, I want to kind of, I love the dark underneath, so I'm just going to, this is a cloth. She's, she's got in the water. None of this makes it. Everybody walks in here all the time. Where are these ladies from? Where do you go? What island do you visit? I go, I just make them up. I like them in white dresses. And now that's, I'm painting over wet, which I always say don't do. But this is the only time that you really do this. Paint over because it's going to soak in a little bit and it's going to give you your underpainting uh, for their clothes. See, I, I kind of like paint them naked and then I put the clothes on. <laughs> yeah. And I like this kind of a blue, I saw this, you know, I pick up these ideas from seeing different pictures. I saw this in some dancers somewhere, so this is um, like a, a blue cloth that she's got wrapped around. So, I have no idea what this looks like because I'm looking at it from a complete side angle. And this is this girl. And here's her cloth hanging down. And then, this very frightening person over here. She's, really She's scary. <laughs> we'll make her beautiful in the end. Yeah, she's really dancing. She's, yeah. Well, she's walking. You know, and sometimes if you just kind of paint in a scribbly mode, things happen and you go with it. And you pretend like you did that all along, but um, you know, all of a sudden, you know, I used to paint these women. I don't do this so much anymore, but I put two arms on each side, and then I picked the one I liked the best. And then, I, then I would just paint over, paint over the other one. Sometimes three arms, six legs. Then pick out the ones that work, paint over the other ones. It was such a great break from watercolor. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. yeah, it is. I, you know, I was at a point in my life where I just didn't need any more stress, and watercolor was one of them. Not that I, you know, didn't enjoy the process, especially if it worked, but this is, this is liberating. You made me want to go home and paint. 
Good. Good. That's 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 I can't wait to get home. Okay. I'm leaving right now. <laughs> Good. Very motivating. Yeah. Good. Liberating. Liberating. Yeah. You know, I I got an email this morning from some lady in um, Santa Fe. That's one thing about these videos. I'm reaching people all over the world. And Santa Fe, what did I let Jane read the thing? It's she just said, I've never felt so free and motivated. <coughs> oh, oh that's that's good. Good. and uh, and rich. <laughs> <laughs> So that's just kind of like a blue cloth to add a little thing to it, a little thing. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to see this is this is really um, she's going to I'll put I'll put her red cloth so you can see. Shouldn't do it while it's wet, but just to give you an idea of where I'm going with that. This is I got to put my glasses on because I got to do this profile. And this is a great, oops, sorry, I think I <laughs> um, <laughs> This is a great prof, I mean, this is a great brush to cut in a profile. So I'm going to take my light blue, a little bit of white. My white paint is kind of old. I found an old tube and it's kind of gummy, but I like to live with it. I'm going to cut in a profile. Like it, yeah, it's not looking so good from here, Judy, but <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good from back here. Yeah, well, that's good. Good. Yeah. And I'm picking up a little bit of the blue, but that'll be fixed later. Or, you know, I kind of like it when colors have a, a relationship and interact with each other because it's kind of, it gives a painting movement and excitement. It softens the edge. Too. Sure, and it gives it a lost edge. I don't like her profile so much, so I might just try to repair it a little bit with a smaller brush, my smaller angle brush. This is the hardest thing to do in front of people. Because it's you just don't know how it's gonna go. I like that a little bit better. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are making me sweat. Okay, okay. so all right, let's try it again. I'm gonna go like. Oh, you like it? Huh? Does she have glasses on? No. 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 Right here? I don't see glasses. No. <laughs> so you make up your people. You don't. Um, I have a reference? reference? No. Do you use reference for other things? Or? Sometimes, you know, depends on what it is. Yeah, I usually start with a reference on other things, but then I put it away. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, like these little harbor scenes, I start with, uh -huh. you know, a boat that I'll find in a photo or something, and then I just put everything away and just invent the little towns around it. Mm -hmm. um, oh this painting right here was... Uh, was a bunch of shacks in West Virginia on a mountain, and I just got rid of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> and I had made it a beach. Yeah, the palm trees. Yeah, I kind of liked the feeling of the shacks going back like that. Yeah. So, you know, you gotta paint, what, you know, you gotta be inspired. And you see something that inspires you. You, you know, hang on to it, and then here's another little. Well, that's good. Yeah, that one. You done? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 that's rather insulting. <laughs> She's insulted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Even know if I'm going to get to the third one. Cause... So anyway, and then I'm going to. Um, Yes. 
Yeah. Why red? Because, you know, because most of the colors I use are cool. Okay. And so the red just pops through a little bit. Okay, smile, everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just works the best. I love it. You know, some paintings have a lot more paint on them than others, and then you can't even see the red. So I think the fresher the painting, the more red comes through. I love seeing the red pop out. Yeah. I do. And I like to put a, a lot of like you know like white clouds up in here, even though I have white laundry hanging on the basket, because that kind of doesn't make the everything look so isolated, you know, like it's cut and paste, in, you know, into the rest of the painting. It's like the laundry's white, the clouds are white, everything's working together, everything, you know, the eye can go from one thing to another. It's not it's not shocked. Yeah, it's bad. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that, that's what that's doing. I have a little blue here in the sky. Which blue and, are you using? Uh, you this use is light blue, blue and this blue. is uh, phthalo blue. Okay. okay. This is grass. Mm -hmm. This is uh, cad yellow medium mixed with. Um, Hunter's green. Booker. Booker's green. Yeah. And this is water down here, so they're going to be like standing in water. This way is like sunk into the water. <laughs> She's being pulled down by her claw. Yeah, well, you know. She's holding her dress up, though. So it's it's like a cloth. It's just. Or it could be your dress. I never thought of that. Hmm. Yeah, she's washing her claw. Well, she's she's standing close. Well, no, because she's behind. Then her elbow would be in front. I always get these issues when I'm painting in front of people. <laughs> and um, it's just something you have to work out. Uh, even, you know, like Jane and I film these all the time. and. There's everybody go, you know, people that watch my videos go like, you know, how come you just never finish it? Well, I can't finish it in front of, well, like showing people. Yeah. Sometimes I need to just really in get in front of it and make some decisions and, and tweak it out to yeah. to the finishing place. That can't be done in a, in a group setting, pre, you know. Yeah. It's hard, so that's what I do. Sometimes I have to sleep on it. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I really painted good today. I come in the next day and look at it and go, <laughs> "What was I thinking?" <laughs> but uh, yeah, you need to look at it fresh. Put a little red thing on her. Yeah. She's got her head tilted. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. Oh, this white is just gooey. What brand of paint? Do you this is um, Liquitex. Okay, I, I know this lady is frightening over there, and I will fix her. You can stand over here. Huh? You can stand over here. And use your left hand. Heavy body acrylic. Yeah. Heavy oh, heavy body, body. yeah. Heavy body. Heavy body. I'll fix that. Uh, these ladies. <laughs> Both dogs driven. She's very bad. She's very bad. She's bad. I'll, you know what? I'll worry about that later. Yeah. yeah. She'll be okay. And she's, and she'll be fine. She will. Yeah. I love the way the yellow pops I so much. Well, it's yellow. just way down here on, in the grass. Oh. <laughs> I'll get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's just 
just one of those things that happen. Yeah. Oh, you know, and another thing too, <coughs> I would get to a certain point with this painting, and especially with their clothes, I would let, I would let this dry or take it out in the sun and let it dry for a good 10, 15 minutes in the sun, bake it. And then when you come by, the, all the paint is like painting all on a fresh canvas. And uh, it just really works. What happens is we get too involved and everything gets very muddy, muddy, muddy. So, um, and you've got to stop yourself from doing that. Especially if you're doing oil. Oh yeah, I can't even imagine. Oh. <laughs> if I was doing oil, I would probably have about five paintings going at once. Oh, yeah. Just to keep it fresh. All right, I'm going to show you something else. Mm -hmm. Is it no, no, I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to paint the basket. Yeah, paint oh, the basket. Okay. Um, switch brushes. That's nice. I'm going to do, I don't like, that's not her hand right there. I'm just going to make these like little things, like yeah. little half smiles. Mm -hmm. And as I get, so I have, you know, the light is going to be coming in from the left. So as I, as I'm doing that, I'm going to darken it up. I'm going to go into my siennas, my raw sienna. I use raw sienna and burnt sienna. I know I don't use umbers at all. Hmm. Is it kind of dead or what? It's it dead. Is? It's, you know, I learned to paint. Uh, I'm from Cleveland, but I, I learned to paint with a wonderful group of artists from the Akron area. And they just taught me so much, but they always said, don't ever use those words. It'll kill your painting. It's not warm or cool. It's just cool. And, uh, <laughs> Does anybody agree with me? Or are some of you yeah, horrified? Yeah, I, 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 I was, we, I, 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 I went with like, like two reds, yeah. two yellows, two blues, but we had all three of the browns. OK. Um, <laughs> so I don't know how much umber I actually used, and then I was kind of confused about why we had that because basically it was so that we would learn to mix. Yeah. And um, but no, the whole thing was no black. Yeah. I never used black. no black. I don't understand that no black. Side. Because black isn't warm or cool. It's dead. It's dead. And it's it like your art, your eye gets very entertained by either you know it, it, the warmth of of the darks, or the or even white. White by itself is pretty black. It's always at the end of a painting I like to add some color to my white. And then just if I want to highlight it a little bit, I will, with just pure white. But black on its own, um, you know, I knew a gallery that wouldn't accept any artwork in there that had black in it. Wow. And this looks black, but it's not. It's yeah, it's super great. It's warm, you know. Yeah. Is that because you have the orange underneath it, the red back color? You know, that's a good question. Um, I think it's dark like that anyway. It's yeah. just, it's just a, it's almost black, and especially if you add a little red to it. I mean, it is, it's, it's a black, but it's not that dull black that would be in a regular tube. So you see my basket? Yeah. 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 Nice. Looks like it's on fire. So you do a little smiley face, little smiles. <laughs> little smiles. <laughs> then what I do when I get to the end of a very end of a painting, I spray it with an acrylic varnish, different kinds. I try all different kinds. A matte? Oh, lately I've been doing the shiny, which I shouldn't, but I can't help it. I like shiny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not really a gloss. I don't know what it is. It's kind of semi gloss. Semi. It doesn't semi. even say. It just says it, it. just says it's a, a varnish for artwork, watercolor, or anything. I don't know, but um, I like it. But anyway, yeah, it does. It does have quite a little bit of a sheen to it. But I like that. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, like the pair that it's on yeah, the pair. Yeah, yeah. It makes it richer. I like that. Yeah. We want to be rich. No <laughs> <laughs> Don't go into art. Yeah. <laughs> right. Starving artists. <laughs> That's true. But, you know, I always say if you have art in your life, you are so lucky. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm sitting there thinking, you know, listening to this meeting. All the things that you have available to you, you know, to do and to be involved with and be involved with other people um, that share the same interest. It's very, you're very lucky. This paint is just clunking up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you know, I, I'm doing so much less with her because I can't read it. Yeah. And um, so I'm going to show you, this girl, I mean, that doesn't even look like one of those hats. It looks more like she has well, a like, head woman. Yeah, I like it. It looks like a turban. Yeah. I like the way her outfit came in. Slinky. She's got a... She is. She, yeah, that's good. She's a... Uh, you know, she tied it went off. Okay, so when I do the skin, I go back in with burnt sienna. All right, so now I think their dresses are about dry and I'm going to show you what's really going to make this pop. But not everywhere. It's not popping enough. <laughs> And I said, you know how much I fell in love with your, with your lady. He goes, I don't own the rights to the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but, you know, like all artists Huh? It's technically all artists Yeah, it is. See what I mean by popping? Mm -hmm. yes. Are you doing that with Naples? Mm -hmm. Naples and white. I know her head would be in shadow, but I'm going to put just a little bit there. Just so you can see it. Here's no. Who's your favorite? Oh. <laughs> so, and then, you know, I just keep waiting for things to dry. I'm going to pop out even some more light. I should clean my water, but it's all right. I'll get by. Um, I'm going to pop a little orange and red into my raw sienna. Whoop. The muscle. Just to get some light on her, on her skin, see that? Yeah. I think anyone who studies with you becomes braver than they ever were before. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I hope so. I mean, I really do. I hope so because that's when you do that, you just think, well, yeah. It's such a big part of painting. It's yeah. such a big part of painting. I, I don't want to look at anybody's painting and see struggle. Yeah. I, I want, you know, fresh brush strokes, whether they succeed all the time or not, just kind of say it as in a few brush strokes mm -hmm. as you can. Shane's like, I wish I, 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 is it? It's back recording. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like uh, Morgan and Morgan says, size matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. In terms of the size of your canvas. And you well, I can get more money for the bigger ones. <laughs> 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 yes, it matters. <laughs> Uh, and it 
it matters also, I don't like to paint small because it's, yeah. it gets wet instantly because I can't move all over the place. With, with the larger it is, the more area I can cover and let other areas dry. Mm -hmm. So the really big canvases, I love working on those because uh, by the time I, I'm in one area, all the rest of it's pretty dry, so I can move quicker. Um, yeah, I don't like the real small canvases. Plus, it's just too confining to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I can be looser. The bigger the canvas, the looser I can be. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to put a little bit more red. Any other questions? Once you think you finish a canvas, let's say of this painting, do you <coughs> go back to them, like, let's say, like in a month or two? Oh, dang, you know, I, I think I put a highlight here. Do you often see yourself going back? Yeah, to I them? do, when they don't sell. You know, I, if I take a, a couple to a show and they're not selling, so I put it back on the easel and I go, listen, listen what's the matter with you? <laughs> you know, you're going to need a little uplift here, or, you know, an upgrade. And um, so, uh, yeah, it's like, Jane, could you, oh, you're, which one? Oh, that house painting with the picket fence. Oh, yes. I had that forever. And for one, yeah, one day, and and the and the top of the house went all the way up off the canvas. Oh. And I and, it, and I realized I just hated it, like right there. It went all the way up, so I killed the whole top of the house, and I made it a cottage. Oh, I still cool. have it. I haven't sold it, but you know. <laughs> 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 yeah, it looks a lot better than it did. Yeah, it looks a lot better than it did. So I do changes like that. So um, I'm gonna take some of this red go here. Um, now when you rework something like that, do you have to remove the varnish? Um, no, I just paint right over it, and then eventually, and I don't paint it orange or anything. I just just I just start putting trees and covering things. And, um, and then you varnish it again. After that. Yeah, probably. I don't know if that was even varnished. I think I, I before I didn't do the yeah. second part. Um, yeah, but if some, you know, if I keep looking at it, I mean, I'm in here almost every day, and I just keep looking at this these, this work, and I just know that if something's bugging me, then I'll just take it and rework it. So. Should we not take pictures of your paintings? You can take pictures of my paintings. I don't care. I don't care. Um, I'm going to do something else. You know, yeah, thank you for asking. People, people, um, you know, with cell phones now, when you're at an art show, everybody's in there clicking. A lot of people ask what they're clicking. And I found that I don't think they're going to go home and print it, frame it, and hang it on the wall. <laughs> yeah. I think what they do is they want to take it home and look at it, maybe make a decision. A lot of times at art shows, they'll take it home and show it to their husband or right. wife. Yeah, and, and make that decision. Don't you think we should get this? Yeah. 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 So, um, <laughs> Or if they really like it and they think about it after a while, they'll call me, you know, do you still have this painting? And I, I always say yes, and then I paint it real fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I get rich. <laughs> I'm going to put a little band on her arm right there, and that's kind of fun. I'm going to accessorize now, everybody. <laughs> It's driving me crazy that that basket, but I, you know, I just, I just couldn't be too hard. Yeah, yeah. Just work on two things. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, I'm going to take this little round brush. This is what I sign my paintings with, but um, I'm just going to take this and make a earring. Oh, she's going to have an earring. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Is that all the detail that you do in her face? Just about. Yeah. 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 That's amazing that you really how that box set out. And it's still wet. The brown was wet, so it didn't. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm leaving that yellow just for you. I like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay so I need to put it. So, that's another rule. So, so many rules. Uh, <laughs> they can be broken. If you, they can't be broken. But if you have a color somewhere that's isolated, you want to repeat it throughout the painting. So mm -hmm. to make the eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm 
going to put some yellow somewhere else, and I know yeah, exactly where. Yeah, huh? you have some in the basket. basket. Yeah, that's Naples yellow. This is more of a yellow yellow, but you're right. So I'll take some yellow yellow. But you, yeah, you want to make a kind of a circular, not just those two. Nice. you got to have three at least. So. Okay, well, yeah, I'm, for I'm going to put a... Yellow, yellow armband on her, oh. and then she'll have some yellow in her basket yeah. up here. Yeah. So it'll it'll work. Mm -hmm. And then of course there'll always be some. You know these colors will be dropped throughout the cloth mm -hmm. yeah. as I keep painting it. Um, yesterday or two days ago, I I'm working on this same exact painting. It's as my easel. You can look at it. I just have probably another half hour on it, and it'll it'll be done. But I. Um, you can just see it's probably a better version of this than what I can just do in front of you guys. So I think we have a half hour left, but that's for questions. You can walk around the gallery if you have any questions for me about that.